There's some famous names that have run for the Power family. Craig and Darren, of course, being Barry's boys. Ray Noddy Bishop. Johnny Mills just caught up with Caleb. Campbell's on the infield, pushing the fly out to get him rolling as well. Wayne Pierce. Paul Farrell got a run in one of these cars. So too, Stephen Bell, Travis Mills, Mark Patton, Darren Hossack. Of course, Andy Pierce, we caught up with Andy a little bit earlier on. Luke Stanley, Eden Jordan, and Grant Patton. As we said earlier, Power Racing fielded a car for 50 seasons. In Victorian Speed Car competition, as Mitch Saunderson pulls up at turn number one, that will still need a second push. Jake, that's cool for me. Autocraft Power, number 59 of Power Racing. With a fly-in, Lewis at the wheel. What a cool deal. Yeah, it certainly is, and I think the credit to everybody that's involved in being able to restore these or maintain these to get them on track. We know that how hard it is to obviously source some parts and get everything in the time and effort that it requires to continue the legacy of that car and a number of cars that are in operation that we see not only here at the, the Hall of Fame that is located at Avon Raceway, but also the vintage sprint cars that we had out last weekend. So big credit to everybody's involved in that one, which is fantastic. And Mitch is just looking for a push there at the moment. The push vehicle is just left stranded on the back straight. Unfortunately, some issues for Mitch. What would it to be for Zoe Pierce to pick up in the Lucas Oil entry? What about Nitro Nick Parker? He loves it when his back is against the wall. Now, this time, the lights will go out. The green flag is at the ready. 20 laps on the board. Southern Speed Car Tour. Brought to you by Beretta Racing Chassis. Biggest cup for the Speed Cars. Time to get it on at Avalon. We're green. Brown to the inside groove. Curry to the outside. Gearings up to P3 there at the moment. P4 there as well. Everybody trying to find a little bit of room there and see what's in operation right now at the moment. A little bit of contact, I think, there as well. Unfortunately, McKay in the 41 got about a little bit of a zigzag going on. Look at the battle between first and second. Curry to the outside in three and four. Brown. He's holding on right now to P1. He's got Caleb Curry coming after him, along with Matt Gearing there as well. The trio are swapping spots. It's definitely between second and third. Brown has not given up at this time. He's at the top, but he's seen two cars now poke the nose in. One car carrying, one gearing. Then we go back to Luke Gearing. He's in P4. Nick Parker in the 39s. Done a wonderful job to move himself up as well, but he's got a good battle ahead of him. at DJ Raw in the 15 car. So Parker... That mid to high groove. Look at the momentum that Parker had on the back straight on the entry to turn three and four. Can he get around Raw? Not at this point. So DJ Raw holding up steady at this point. That's for P4, P, P5, P6, shall I say. Jay Wall, Zoe Pierce, Nathan Smee has moved up. And Glenn Shaw all in the top ten. 14 laps remaining. So we are six down, 14 to run. Curry's got some issues. Curry's got some big issues. He'll come to a halt. Hopefully there's no contact. Everyone can see that that S6E is coming to a halt in turn three and four, and now the yellow's come out. See, that six car has been on point. And now we go back with Caleb Curry restarting at the rear of the field. The yellow lights will go out. So nearing half race distance, 14 to run. We're six laps down. Caden Brown. Picture perfect tonight too, Jake. You know how good he's been. And he'll need to be good here at this restart. Soon he will. Brown turns into green. Green flag, we're now on. He leads us in turn one and two right now. I'm intrigued to see how this battle is going on between Matt and Luke Gearing. So look at him, one on the inside, one on the outside right now. That's Luke Gearing, the 18 that's on the outside. Matt's on the inside. So Matt inside, Luke outside. Luke in P2, Matt in P3. That's how that gearing is shaping up right now, but it could change at any moment. 13 will turn to 12. 
Raw. He's been impressive so far here tonight. He occupies P4 right there. Behind him is Nick Parker. So Parker, J. Wall, Smee. We see that Smee was starting out of P14. He's moved himself up. A little bit there as well to P7. So Brown, just interesting as well, has gone to the inside groove at this point. So this will be interesting for Brown. Gearing, both gearing, shall I say, are up top, especially in three and four. Can they gain some momentum? Gab, there's now 10 laps to run in this one. Both gearings are upstairs, but Brown's downstairs, so it's a story of two tails at the moment. Can they catch him? Boy, Nick Parker's the one that I'm watching as well. He's made his way to B4, just pounding the top lane. He's been superb. DJ Roar and he's inside as he works his way out of turn number two. Boy, Matt Gearing in third. It's just up the road. They're both also running upstairs. Nick's been up there all race long. This next time by, it'll be seven to run. Your race leader is just cruising the bottom this time in three and four. Second, third, fourth. They're all upstairs just hammering the top. No doubt that Nathan Smee has also found a little sniff of what's down in turn number three and four. Boy, Luke Geary. I'm not sure that he's closing, but it's certainly an exciting run for the New South Wales 18. Boy, Matt Gearing a little crossed up. Here comes Parker. Parker will not need too many invites, nor will Nathan Smee. The Gary Rucco, number 42 car. And Caleb Curry, just like that, to the back of them as well. Five to run, Jack Morrell. No stopping Caden. He's gone. But you know, race for third is still up for grabs. Luke Gearing. Matt Gearing. In P3, and here comes Parker. Certainly does. Parker will need to be good if he wants to move himself up, but he's been everything plus more so far in this one. We continue on. Let's see what Parker's got for us. Your leader is Brown. So Brown crosses the line right now. Second at the moment is Luke Gearing. He's P2. He's holding on. Matt Gearing for three. Parker for four. Parker to the outside in turn one and two. Has he got enough run? He's got Caleb Curry, who was running in a top three spot earlier on, just ahead of him. That's a back marker, per se. We know how much speed Curry has got. White flag will be in operation next time by. Parker just looks like he's losing a little bit of spot now at the moment, but Brown takes the white. So one to run for Caden Brown, and this will be a well-deserved victory for Caden. He's been wonderful here tonight. Luke Gearing, Matt Gearing, will that change at this point? Parker, Caleb Curry's mixed himself in there. Check and play comes out for Caden Brown. Caden picks up the win. Luke Gearing in second, Matt Gearing in third. Caleb in fourth, Smee in fifth, Parker in sixth. Jay War in seventh, DJ Roar in eighth, Joey Lostich in nine, jo uh, Zoe Pierce in ten. Jordan McKay in 11, Glenn Shaw in 12, and Matt Papper rounds out your 13 car.